Without giving too much away, I will say that it was maybe a terrible idea, but my hairdresser was all booked up and I have no patience, but I do have a willing spirit. So I decided that it would be a very, very good idea to cut my own hair, especially because it was a short haircut. The logic isn't there, don't try and find it. <laughs> Hello and welcome to this video. It's about me cutting my own hair. Uh, let's just say that I wanted a haircut because my teenage Simba phase. <laughs> It does look like a rock star mullet. <laughs> In case you are also wondering how to cut your hair, I offer a few tips and tricks, um, as well as a lot of mistakes. So I'm hoping that this video is both entertaining and informative if you're about to cut your own hair, or if you need somebody to sway you away from doing that. I will let you be the judge of the final results at the end of the video. It's a short one. I also goobered the audio on all of these clips because I filmed them in slow-mo. I did voiceovers for all of these clips, and honestly, it's better that way. <laughs> First thing you're gonna wanna do is apply deodorant. This could be a stressful process, and if you're a sweaty girl like me, you're gonna need it. Oh my. Okay, and then you're gonna need four hair ties, some sharp scissors, and a spray bottle filled with water. Sticking your head under the sink also works. I'm using a dish towel to try and figure out what it'll look like after I cut my hair short, as well as the, ah, uh, wait for it, three head. Yep, I have a three head. So we're gonna talk about bangs a little bit later. I think at this point I'm talking about how I just don't really feel cute with this length of hair. I see myself mouth the word mullet, so that should say enough about that. Ah yes, there is a mullet here. At this point in the process, before you've started cutting your hair, you should really adopt an attitude of overconfidence. It's going to help you. <laughs> Not really sure what that emotion is. Okay, but now we're actually getting into it. So you're gonna grab your hair ties and you want to divide your hair into four sections. It's important to keep your natural part here because when you cut your hair, if you flip it to a different part later, you're gonna have weird lengths. Tie the four sections with hair ties and make sure they're really tight. I think I actually cracked my back when I was doing this one. Make sure your ponytails are pointing down, not out. Once it's secure, slide the hair tie down an inch below where you actually want to cut. This is gonna be great because it'll collect the hair in a neat bundle and save your floor a ton of hairy mess. I have all four sections tied, and I should note that I'm cutting a blunt haircut, so there's no layering happen here, which is why this method works. Sort of. Even them out, and like I said, pull the hair ties down an inch lower than you plan to cut. Grab your trash can to catch the extra hair bits, and let's go! It's actually really entertaining for me to go through this footage without the audio, and just to see the facial expressions that are telling the truth of how I actually felt in the moment. A good tip that I have is to not pull and tug on the ponytail as you're cutting it. Obviously you want to hold it taut, but don't pull it like I did because you're going to end up with these really crooked, jagged cuts. I made the first cut and it was definitely shorter than I had originally planned, so the rest of the hair is going to follow suit and we're going to be cutting a haircut that's shorter than what I envisioned. Whoopsies! When you're cutting the hair on your dominant side, try not to stab yourself in the jugular. I don't think it would look very cute if you were bleeding out while you had this haircut. I've actually had an experience where a hairdresser caught her comb in my cartilage piercing and ripped it out, and I was just bleeding down my face and we just kept going because I don't think either of us really knew what to do in that moment. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this is so uneven. Okay, so the methodology is clearly flawed, but I think it's because I was tugging too hard as I was cutting. I should have also mentioned that a mirror would be helpful in your supply list. Yeah, go get a mirror, genius. That'll make it better. <laughs> Another helpful supply to have on hand would be a friend or a family member. I could not reach the back of my head. We learned this very quickly. We knew this in the first cut, but I ended up calling my friend Katie and she immediately came over to help me. God bless Katie. Thank you for friends like her. You can see that she's using the spray bottle to wet down the ends of my hair, which really helped her cut it easier. It was able to stick together kind of, so she was able to get a blunt cut. And I also recommend picking a friend who has a steady hand. Katie's very artistic, so I trust that she would be able to cut my hair without any sort of major hiccups like what I had already done. I was covered in hair after it, so I got in the shower to rinse off, and I liked how blunt the ends were, which is what this weird dance is. Earlier we talked about my three head, so I can't really have 
blunt bangs because I don't have enough real estate on my forehead for them. But I like the idea of kind of side curtain bangs. So that's what I'm attempting to cut here. About at the length of my nose, I just did like a feathery cut. It is very uneven. Like, <laughs> I couldn't even see that when I was doing it. The major secret for good bangs is having a flat iron to give them a tiny bit of an inward curl. And that helps them sort of flow a little bit better across your face. I really wish I knew that in high school. In the end, I'm really happy with how it all turned out. I went from teenage Simba rock star mullet to chic French bob. Even though the haircut was definitely shorter than I originally planned, I do love it and I feel lighter. I had some good learning moments along the way, which hopefully I passed along to you. And I laughed a lot with Katie. <laughs> it definitely could have gone a lot worse. Hopefully you got some useful tips from my experience. And if you have any DIY haircut tips to share, drop them in the comments and maybe I'll try them in my next hair experiment. Until next time.